Hello everyone. Now I am going to discussing about the game theory problem for 2 into n game by graphical method. So this is I will be discuss with the one example problem. Here you have to observe that when given game is consisting of the two rows and n number of columns which means player A having the two strategies and the player B having the more than two strategies. This type of game we are calling as a 2 into n game. Okay. Let's see the solution. For the solution the first step is for first we have to find out the row minimum and column maximum. After that one we have to find out the mini max values and the maxi mini values. Let's see how to find out the row minimum and column maximum. First we have to copy the given data. Then we have to observe the row minimum. Here two number of rows are there. First one is the A1 row and the A2 row. First we have to determine the minimum values for the A1 row. See A1 row is consisting of the values of 2, 2, 3 and the minus D, minus 2. Among these values we have to find the minimum value. Among these values which is the minimum value? Minus 2 is the minimum value. So just we have to write down the minus 2 here. Similarly, we have to find out the minimum value for the second column, second row, sorry, second row. So that is the A2. So in the A2 row is consisting values of 4, 3, 2 and the 6. Among these values, we have to find out the minimum value. Among these values, which is the minimum value? 2 is the minimum value. So just we have to write down the 2 here. So next step is we have to find out the column maximum. See here, four columns are there, which is the B1, B2, B3 and B4. For all the four, four columns, we have to find out the maximum values. So these are the maximum values for the respected columns. So next step is, we have to find out the mini, max and maxi mini values. What do you mean by mini, max and maxi minimum values mean? Mini, max mean, so we already find out the row minimum. See among this minimum values we have to find out the maximum values. See here row minimum is consisting of the two values. One is the minus two another one is the two. Among these values which one having the maximum value? Two is the maximum value. Then just have to mark the two as a minimum, mini max. Similarly we have to find out the maxi mini values. What do you mean by maxi mini? Maximum values we have to select the minimum value. See here column max is having the four values 4, 3, 3 and 6. Among these values which is having the minimum value 3 having the minimum value. So we have to mark the 3, 3 number and we have to write down the it is the maximum mini value. Next is we have to observe the given game is having saddle point or not. If the mini max value is equal to maxi mini value mean the game is having the saddle point otherwise there is the no saddle point. Here our mini max value is the 2 and maxi mini value is the 3. So 2 is not equal to 3 then given game is no saddle point means given game is following the mixture strategy. So let us go for the second step. Second step is the let us consider x is the probability of selection of second strategy for player A. Similarly, let us consider 1 minus x is the probability of selection of second strategy of the player A. And also have to derive the expected gain function of player A with respect to the each of alternative of player B. Let us see how to solve this one. So first just have to copy the given data and we have to write down the x and 1 minus x. So for the respected rows. After that one just we have to write down the this tabular column. So this tabular column having the three columns. First one is the B's alternative. Second one is A's expected payoff function. So third one is A's expected gain. So first we have to go for the first column. That is the B's alternative. 
so we know that one b having the four strategies mean b having the four alternatives what are that one b1 b2 b3 and b4 mean one two three four four strategies are having same thing just have to write down the all the alternatives so that is the one two three four four strategies let's go for the second column second column is is expected payoff function so how to write down the is expected payoff function mean see here just we have to write down the 2 into x plus 4 into 1 minus x first we have to select the first column b1 column so b1 column having the values of 2 and 4 so is expected payoff payoff function will become the 2 into x plus 4 into 1 minus x so just have to write down the values is expected payoff function in the first strategy so this is the b's already named this is the first strategy the first strategy is consisting the values of 2 and 4 so just have to write down the is expected payoff function in the terms of the x values just have to write down so that is the 2 into x plus 4 into 1 minus x so next one is the b's alternative second alternative the second alternative values is this is the b2 column the values is consisting of the 2 and 3. So then I have to 2 into x plus 3 into 1 minus x. Just have to write down 2 into x plus 3 into 1 minus x. Next we have to go for the B's alternative, third alternative that is the B3 column. B3 column has ha having the values of the 3 and 2. So I have to write down the A's expected payoff function. It should be 3 into x plus 2 into 1 minus x. Just try to write down the 3x plus 2 into 1 minus x. Similarly, for the fourth alternative, fourth alternative is b4. The values of the b4 is minus 2 and 6. So I have to write down the a's, pay, a's expected payoff function will become minus 2 into x plus 6 into 1 minus x. So I hope you people understand how to write the a's expected payoff function. So next I have to go move for the Third column, third column is as expected gain. How much gain you will be get when we are considering the x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Simple steps, this is the simple one. Just we have to substitute the x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 for the these equations. So first we have to substitute x equal to 0 and after that one, just we have to substitute x equal to 1. So what are the values you will be get mean? If you consider the x equal to 0, these are the values I will be get. Similarly, if I am considering the x equal to 1, these are the values I will be get. Next step is plot the gain functions on a graph sheet by assuming a suitable scale. Here, keep x values on x axis and the gain values are on the y axis. Next, to draw the x axis and y axis like this. Afterwards, draw the L1 line, means there B is first alternative, for this x values are having 0, 1 and gain values are the 4, 2. So mark the 4 at x equal to 0, See here, so mark the 4 when at x equal to 0, similarly mark the 2 when x equal to 1 then just want to join the, these two lines it will comes the l1 line similarly have to draw the l2 line l3 line and also l4 line so this is the third step next step is how to find the highest intersection point in the lower boundary of the graph for this first we have to find the lower boundary of the graph for this, first draw the lower boundary of the each line you have to draw. See here. So, this is the L1 line and this is the lower boundary of the L1 line. Similarly, so this is the lower boundary for the L2 line and this is the, so this is the lower boundary for the L3 line and similarly this is the lower boundary for the L4 line. 
So this is the lower boundary for the L3 line. After that, we have to identify the common area of the lower boundary of the all the lines. Just to observe here. So this is the lower boundary of the this is the common area lower boundary for the all the lines. So this is we are calling as the lower boundary of the graph. See next point is we have to identify the higher intersection point in the lower boundary. So this is the lower boundary. In the lower boundary of the graph we have to identify the highest intersection point. For this first we have to identify the what are the intersections are there in the lower boundary of the graph. See here one intersection is there. Similarly here one more intersection point. See here one more intersection point is here. So here three intersection points are there. Among these three intersection points we have to find the highest two intersection points. So these three are the highest intersection uh, intersection points among these. So this is this point is the highest intersection point and that particular point we are calling as the maxi mini point. See here this point we are calling as the maxi mini point. So this point is the highest intersection point in the lower boundary of the graph. So next we have to move the uh, next step is the fifth step. Fifth step. So first we have to observe the at the highest intersection point in the lowest boundary, that particular point we are calling as the maxi mini point. In the maxi mini point, how many lines are pausing? We have to observe. Here, only two lines are pausing. That is, so this is the L4 line and this is the L3 line. Only two lines are pausing at the maxi mini point. So now we have to considering the only L3 line and L4 line means we are considering the only two strategies for the player B. See player B having the four strategies. Among these four strategies we are considering only two strategies that is 3 and 4. So why only the two mean at maxi mini point only two lines are passing that is the L3 and L4 mean only we are considering the 3 and 4 strategies. Now we are reduce the payoff matrix in the 2 into 2 payoff, the 2, 2, 2 into 2 matrix. See here only L3 and L4 are pausing at maxi mini point. So for this one we are considering the only two strategies for the player B that is the third and fourth strategies. Now our payoff matrix is 2 into 2 matrix that player A having the two strategies that is 1 and 2 and player B also having the two strategies that is 3 and 4. So now next step is let consider P1 and P2 are the probability of selection 1 and 2 alternatives for player A. Similarly, let us consider Q1 and Q2 are the probability of selection of 1 and 2 strategies for player B. See, these are the formulas for the to determine the P1, P2, Q1 and Q2. Here V is the value of the game. Now, we have to substitute these values. This A11 and A12, A21 and A22 values have to substitute in the above equation. We will get the values of the P1, P2 and Q1, Q2 and value of the game. Here A11 is the 3 and A12 is the minus 2 and A21 is the 2 and A22 is the 6. We have to substitute these values in above equation. We will get the P1 is the 4 by 9. P2 is the 5 by 9, Q1 is the 8 by 9, QT is the 1 by 9 and value of the game is 2.44. So this is the solution of the this method.